Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you a strategy that can be useful for Lyft. Um, admittedly, I don't drive that much for Uber or Lyft uh, in 2024 anymore. It just, it has gotten to the point where it's not really worth it unless you have a strategy. Otherwise, you're just out there taking unprofitable rides um, and kind of spinning your wheels, so to speak. So I wanted to show you a strategy that you can use. Uh, today is going to be about Lyft. Here's the strategy. Don't take long rides. Absolutely do not take long rides. They're not worth it. I don't care how you slice it. The longer the ride, the less money you're making for your time overall. It's better to bang out short rides when you have bonuses, right? If I could do three to four short rides in an hour on a $6 bonus hour, I'm getting an 18 to $24 bonus. Why would I want to take a 45 minute ride somewhere where they're paying me 60 cents a mile? It, it doesn't make any sense. I want to maximize these bonuses. So step number one, drive when there's a challenge first and foremost, because that's going to give you at least in this case, $95 for 30 rides over the weekend. That's an extra $3 a ride. Okay. Now, in addition to the challenge, you have to maximize bonus hours. If there's a day they're not giving you any bonus hours, I wouldn't drive, right? I mean, again, this is a part-time. You can't do these apps full-time anymore because they you know, give you a few bonus hours, throw a little bit at you, but then you're working like for slave wages the rest of the time. So only drive when there's incentives. Do not drive. For instance, if I hop over to Uber right now, right? If I go in and I go to Uber Opportunities, I have this $210 for 200 EV rides, okay? They give you like a month to do that. I don't, I don't do regular Uber rides. I, you know, you have a, a month. If you're doing Uber a lot, yeah, but this is only giving me an extra basically a dollar per ride. What they used to do is they used to just give you a dollar a ride. Simple, straightforward. You have an electric vehicle, you do a ride, you get a $1 bonus. No matter what, if I do one ride a month, 100 rides a month, I get a dollar per ride. Now what they've done is said, hey, we don't like these part-timers. We're gonna, we'll still give you the dollar a ride, but we're gonna make you do 200 rides in a month to get it. So if you do 199 rides, you get no EV bonus. You have to do all 200 of them to get that $210 bonus. Now, if you're doing Uber rides anyway, and you have an electric vehicle, fine. This is just an extra 200 bucks for the month. That's fine. But it's not something, $1 a ride is not going to incentivize me to do 200 rides if I wasn't already doing them anyway. And the problem with Uber, you go into their challenge, you know, Lyft had that challenge, $95 for 30 bucks. Wait, $95 for 30 rides. Well, Uber's challenge, I just signed up for the small one, even though I know I'm not going to get it because I'm not doing rides this weekend. It's paying 50 cents a ride. Lyft's challenge is paying $3 a ride. Uber had one for $90. That was similar to Lyft's $95. And maybe Uber's might have been $95. I think it was only $90, though. But you know what Uber wanted me to do for $90? 80 rides. So if I've got Uber and I've got Lyft, and Lyft saying, hey, if you do 30 rides, we'll give you $95. And Uber saying, hey, if you do um, 80 rides, we'll give you that same $90 bonus or $95 bonus, whatever it was. Why would I worry about even driving for Uber? It's a waste of money. I'm getting three times the bonus on Lyft. So you've got that. Assuming you're going to do at least 30 rides over this weekend, you now you know you have an extra three bucks a ride. But again, you're pot committed. You don't get that bonus until you do those 30 rides. So don't do 25. Whatever you do, you got to make sure you get those 25. But now if you get, like you're here in Uber, you know, Lyft had $6 bonus hour, $4 bonus hour, $4 bonus hour. You get an extra six bucks every ride you do. What's Lyft, what's Uber have? Uh, between two and four, $1.50 every trip boost. $1.50 is not as good as six. Um, Saturday, they have two to 3 a.m., $1.50. And that's it. That's all they have right now. So this weekend, Uber, Uber's dead. Like, I wouldn't drive Uber. The, the rates they pay your peanuts, 50, 60, 70 cents a mile, it, it's worthless, right? So I wouldn't even be driving for Uber unless I was going somewhere um, and on the way to somewhere, I'd maybe do Uber Eats, but Uber, you're dead to me this weekend. Okay. So here's how you use this strategy. Here's how the math can play out for you. And again, every situation is different. Every demographic is different, depending on where you're at, your location, all of that. But taking regular lift rides, short rides, you're going to be taking $4 rides, $5 rides, $3 rides, 
right? And how many rides can you do in an hour? I figure three. Sometimes you can knock out four, but it's very, but you know, three to four, right? And again, depending on time of day, the amount of traffic and how long the rides are that you're taking. So here's what I would do with Lyft. Number one, I go into my um, settings and Uber doesn't have these uh, the, a setting to, to stay within a certain area. But again, the key to success with this strategy, short rides, short rides, short rides. You don't want to do anything over a couple of miles, right? Because the, the, the money in this strategy is the number of rides you're going to get. You get 30 rides, you get 95 bucks. It doesn't matter if you do 30 10-mile rides or 31-mile rides. You're going to get the same $95 bonus. So why do I want to do 30 10-mile rides? It dilutes your bonus. And, you're, and because Lyft pays so little money, your bonuses are where the money's at, right? You have to be strategic with this. So I want to do, with that challenge, I want to do 30 sh uh, rides as short as I can, as quick as I can, right? To maximize that bonus. Now, same with the $6 bonus and the $4 bonus, right? Same thing. I'm getting an extra $6 per ride. Why would I want to take a 10-mile ride if I have one hour? It's like, you know, supermarket sweep, right? Remember that show if you're older? <laughs> and you got to get, you got a certain amount of time to get as much shit in your cart as you can. And it's over. That's it. You're done. Same with the bonus hour. You've got one hour to get as many rides banked as you can for that extra $6. If you're taking three, $4 short rides, that extra $6 makes a big difference. You know, it's doubling your revenue on those rides. If you take a 30 minute ride and you get an extra six bucks, who, who cares, right? I mean, fine, thanks for the six bucks, but that, that six bucks is not as beneficial as if you did four short rides in that hour and you got a $24 bonus. And you have a lot less wear and tear, less miles on your car. Why would you want to do a long ride? So do not do long rides. This, this Making more money on Lyft doesn't work if you do long rides. Lyft does not incentivize you properly to do long rides. You don't ever do them. Just don't do them. Short rides, okay. So here's what you do. You go in here, you get the stay within area filter, okay? I go down mine all the way to the smallest $5, right? I, and I, I'll show a side-by-side -side screenshot, but you'll see. So I stay within that area. So essentially, it at least ensures that I won't even get any offers that are longer because I'm not taking any offers that are longer. I mean, I, I want one, two, three mile rides max. I want to get in, I want to get out, I want to get back on the clock for the next uh, rider to come in to get that next $6 plus uh, I'm getting three dollars too. So think about this. So you keep it within five miles. You go to a populated area. Um, you know that it, there's a lot of things in a very small space. This strategy is not going to work if you live in a rural area and nobody's needing a two-mile ride. Like if you know everything is five, ten miles away, it's not going to work. You got to go into a a dense, densely populated area where there's a lot of things within a few miles that people might need rides to. Okay. So you set your stay with an area filter right in the center of the place that you want to stay. So it's only giving you rides in that area. Okay. So once you do that, now we've got um, our $6 bonus. So think about this. If things are busy, you could probably knock out four rides in an hour. But let's just assume you can only do three. Three is pretty good. That's 20 minutes each. So if you can do three rides in an hour, okay, and you're on a $6 bonus hour, you've got $18 in that hour for those three rides right? You've also got, assuming you're going to complete the challenge over the weekend, you've got the extra $3 in the challenge per ride that you're going to get. So three rides in that hour gives you a $18 bonus on the bonus hour, and then it gives you another $9 bonus on the challenge, you $3 a ride. So now you're at $27. So you're already at $27 bucks for the hour, and the fare and the tips haven't even been calculated yet. So you're doing three rides. Let's say the average ride is five bucks. It should be pretty low, right? Because you're doing short rides. So now you got 27, add $15 to that for the three rides that you're doing for that hour. And now you've got 42, 42 bucks. You're already at 42 bucks. Now, maybe you get a tip, maybe you don't. So if you get a couple dollars in tips, you know, on those short rides, you might get two or three dollars, uh, um, you know, uh, a tip. Maybe one of them tips you, maybe two of them, maybe all three. But that's going to put you somewhere between forty and fifty dollars for that hour driving regular lift, forty to fifty bucks. Now you go into the next hour, you do that one to two. 
And then, then what do you do? Because the $4 bonus hour doesn't start till three. Do you just keep driving around at two? I wouldn't because then you're, you're bringing your hourly rate down because the, all the rides that you do from two to three, when there's no bonus, you're going to earn probably a lot less, right? There's no, you know, 12 to six, uh, uh, $18 bonus on that. So what I would do is something else that pays more Lyft by itself does is not the highest and best use of your time. I would do Walmart spark or Instacart long before I did three regular Lyft rides. You know, you could do Lyft for an hour and be lucky to make 15 bucks. You might get lucky and you have Walmart spark on and you get one order from Walmart spark. That's 30 bucks, right? So you have to pick and choose when you're going to do this. But then our number two starts with a $4 bonus hour at three o'clock. You can go right back to it, maximize that. So this, using this strategy, you can make anywhere from $30 to $50 an hour with regular Lyft. You don't even have to do uh, Lyft Black or uh, private rides or anything like that. And again, unfortunately, this is not something you can just go and then drive 10 hours straight and make 40 bucks an hour and come home with $400. It doesn't work that way. But if you use these bonus hours over the weekend, hit the challenge, got some tips along the way. Um, there's also a couple of turbos in here I haven't mentioned where they, you know, increase the fare by 10%, but lottie freaking da, you know, if I'm doing a $4 ride and I got a 10% turbo, okay, great. Thanks. I got an extra 40 cents, whatever. I mean, fine. I'm not going to say no to it, but it's 40 cents. I'm not going to plan my life around it. Right. But this is how you can use Lyft, um, and also Uber, but you, you have to maximize these challenges and these bonuses. A couple of weeks ago, I got an offer from Uber. I hadn't driven regular Uber in forever, but I got an offer and I'm trying to remember, I think it was, it was really good. It was, if you do five rides, you get, uh, I believe it was an $85 bonus, five rides, $85 bonus. And I went, okay. But again, I used the same strategy. I only I'm going to do five rides only. I'm going to get an $85 bonus. The money was in the bonus, not in the fare because the fare suck. So what did Uber try to do? I turn on Uber. Uber knew I was going for that $5 bonus or that $85 bonus. What did they do? They tried to send me on 30 mile nature hikes, right? Oh, pick up this guy, go 30 miles for $15. Now, some of you might go, oh, I'll do that because I'm gonna get the 85 as long as I do five rides. No, no, you also get the 85 if you do five short rides. You don't need to do five 20 mile rides. So your acceptance rate doesn't matter. Decline, 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 right? Decline. You don't need it. Doesn't matter. I don't even know what my acceptance rate on Uber is. I, I don't even know how to check it anymore. It used to be like out front and center. Honestly, I'm sure some of you, one of you guys will be able to chime in and tell me how to check my acceptance rate. I, I don't know how to check it. Inbox opportunities, earnings, maybe Uber pro. Oh, here it is. Okay. Star rating. Um, I have five stars cause I'm awesome. Um, my acceptance rate right now is 18%. And the, re the only reason it's even that high is cause I've been doing Uber eats. My cancellation rate is 9% because I use Uber as the redheaded stepchild that it is. Okay. So you can decline. It doesn't matter. Right. And then you get a ride, uh, five bucks for two miles or whatever. Great. Grab that one. Take it you know, 10, 15 minutes, you're done. You got your five bucks. You might get a two or $3 tip. Maybe you get a $2 tip. Now you got seven, but what did I get? I got one ride towards my $85. So I, you do five of those, you're going to get $25 in fair revenue. Now you get your $85 and now you're at 110 bucks. And then I think I had two or three tips out of those five rides that I did. So it was like around $120 for five rides, right? Five short rides. That makes sense to me, right? I did maybe, um, what five and mo all those rides were under five miles. So I did maybe somewhere between 15 and 20 miles worth of rides, five rides got paid $120 for less than 20 miles of rides. That's how you make money with Uber. And then they had another one they stacked on top of it. Once you finish that one, it wasn't as good, but it was still really good. And it said, if you do 10 rides now, you will get a hundred dollars, right? Now, 10 rides for a hundred, 
is nowhere near as good as five rides for 85, but together it was 15 rides for $185. So I went, okay, no brainer. I knocked that out. That same, I think it might've taken me two days cause I was, I had to go do something. So I did like half the rides one day, half the rides the other day. But again, same thing, short rides. It wasn't the fare. The fare is not what's gonna make you any money. It's the bonuses. And because the fares don't make you any money, you cannot drive for Uber and Lyft when they're not offering decent bonuses. Right now, Uber is not offering a decent bonus that would make me drive for them, right? $10 for an extra uh, 20 rides, 50 cents? No, because I'm gonna be looking at, okay, this guy wants you to go pick him up and take him three miles and we'll give you $4. Oh, but you get a 50 cent bonus. Who gives a shit? So now I'm going to get 350 to go get the hassle of some guy in my car. Take That's not enough money, right? It doesn't make any sense. But right now, Lyft makes sense. If, you know, if, you know, depending on what you're looking to make per hour with Lyft right now in those select hours only, you can't do it in the off hours, but in those select hours, you could make, depending on where you live, probably easily 30 to $50 an hour in those hours by utilizing the challenges and the bonus. Now, after I knocked out that with Uber and I made that $185 and it was, uh, this is um, June, so I think it was like middle of May. Actually, I can tell you when it was. Uh, let's see, I could look it up, right? Uh, where's my earnings? As you can see, I've not driven, dri driving. I have not driven at all. I don't drive for Uber very much. All right, so yeah, so, so see I have my, my 15th ride on June 2nd, okay? So that was the 15 rides for that. And that's all I did, right? For that whole month. So guys, I'm not just like talking about a strategy. It's what I do, right? You gotta be selective with it. The entire month, I only did 15 rides. And the reason I only did those 15 rides was because those were the only ones that were offering the $85 for five rides and the $100 for 10 rides. So I said, fine, I will drive when it's profitable. When you're offering a bonus, to make it even, literally that bonus made it to just back to like what it was to drive for Uber two or three years ago. Like the, the money they pay out is so stupid small right now. And it's not going to get better. That you just have to be smart. You, you can't, if nobody took rides when they were just giving you your base fare, they would raise all the prices. They would have to. They would raise the prices. You know, you guys that take these cheap ass rides for no money, not only are you screwing yourself and you're losing money, you are losing money driving a car for no money. You're screwing your other drivers too because Uber would raise the prices if nobody would take these crap rides. But let's just go through these 15 rides that I did. Uh, just real quick. Okay, so this one I made uh, $5. It was two miles, right? $5.50, two miles. No tip on that one. Uh, this one I did, it was ten seventy-five dollars four miles with a $4 tip. So I made $14 uh, uh, for a four mile ride, $14.75. Uh, this one, $5, no tip, 1.6 miles. Again, short rides, guys. Um, this one, $2 tip, uh, 1.2 miles. Uh, so I made eight bucks for 1.2 miles. That's like $4 a mile right there, right? That's long rides don't make sense. You think they're gonna give me $40 for 10 miles? No, they're not, okay? Uh, this one, um, uh, and, and again, notice the time. The time is a very critical factor too, right? Like this ride, $10, 14 bucks. It took me six minutes, six minutes, right? This other one uh, made $8 for 1.2 miles, three minutes, 45 seconds. Like I'm in and out. Okay. Next ride, next ride, next ride. Let's like knock these out. Let's get to the bonus. The bonus is where the money's at, not in how much you're going to make per ride. People see all oh, $20 for a ride and they get all excited. And then they realize they're driving 35 damn miles and it's going to take them over an hour in traffic. So what? You got your $20. You lost half of that in expenses. You know, actually you lost more than that when you really start looking at depreciation, which will be another video. <clears throat> I need to show you guys how to figure that out because it's clear to me, a lot of drivers don't know the true expenses to driving Lyft and Uber or any of these gig work because they take deals that literally is costing them money. That's a whole nother video, but let's go back through. Okay, <clears throat> $13.79 plus $5 tip, $18.79 for this 4.4 mile ride. Again, that's, that's $4 a mile, it's $4.50 a mile right? That's, that's not bad. And that's not even counting the bonus yet. This is just the fare and the tips right here. So even if you don't have the big bonus, if you are strategic and very selective, you can still make okay money. Now I wouldn't do it for this. Anyway, hold on. I'm getting distracted. 
All right, um, 2.3 miles for $7 plus a $3 tip. 10 bucks for 2.3 miles. That's a little under five bucks a mile. That's not bad, right? Don't do long rides. Now here's one, I screwed myself. I'm trying to remember the, the situation. What was the situation? I took an 11 mile ride for $12. Oh, I know why I took that one. Here's why I took that one. Normally you'd say, no, you probably, well, I'll show you the side by side. You, you, I wouldn't take this, but why? Well, because I live up here by the green. And that's what this was. I was, I was, and I want to drive down here. That's why I took that ride for that money. Not because it was a good ride in and of itself. I was already up here and I was driving down, right? So, okay, I took it. It added a ride and I was driving that way anyway. That's when it makes sense. I would have been driving that 11 miles for free. It's okay to take long rides if you were gonna be driving for free anyway. Okay, this one, 3.3 miles, $8 plus three bucks tip, 11 bucks for 3.3 miles. Uh, again, that's like $3 a mile. Two and a half miles for five bucks, no tip. This one, 1 1.2 miles for five bucks plus a $2 tip. And then this last one to get my last, my 10th one for my 100 bucks was 5.9 miles for $15. Um, normally farther than I would do, but again, this was the last one in my bonus. So that was probably like a, let's just take it and get it done. Now, if we go, so, so again, guys, this was the whole month. That's all I did. Now I do gig work very part-time anyway, but there's other gigs that are more profitable than regular Uber. So the only time I drove Uber is when they threw out that big bonus. They have not thrown it out to me again. I haven't driven for them again. I've done Uber Eats in conjunction with Walmart Spark and, um, DoorDash and Instacart. And I have other videos if you want to go check those out on, you know, how to really maximize your, your, your income per hour by multi-apping. But I have not done any more Uber rides because they're not profitable when they're not offering those bonuses. So guys, I, I don't just like tell you with a theory of what can work. I show you how it works. So if you go to my earnings now for the month of May, the week of May 27th to June 3rd, I did three trips to finish off my bonus. So you can see the fare was only $23.69 for those three rides. The promotion, that was that 10 for 100. I got 100 bucks for that. I got $2 in tips, cheap people. So I got a total of $125 that week. And that was only those last three rides to finish those off. Those were all actual rides. So I got $125.69. And then the week before that, I got $259.79. It says 17 trips. So five of those were Uber Eats in there. I'm not going to sit here and figure out which ones were Uber Eats, but you can kind of get the idea. I mean, throw an extra little bonus Uber Eats in there. But the bottom line is um, the net, the promotion was 85. There's my promotion. Net fare, 97.55. Other earnings, 231. Not sure what that is. Tips, 74.93. So total earnings of 200, let's call that 260 plus 125. That's 385. So $385 for, for basically 15 Uber X rides. Now, again, I know there's five Uber Eats in there. So you can, I mean, figure, figure like eight bucks, eight or nine, but I don't really do $4 Uber Eats, but yeah, figure like, figure like $40 of that. So what I say, 385. So let's just call it, let's just call it 340, 350, somewhere in there. Let's call it 350, easy math, right? You throw in an extra Uber Eats order or whatever. So I made $350 to do 15 regular Uber X rides that I could have done in a old broken down Prius that still ran, right? What would you make if you did those same 15 rides without the bonuses? Well, take your 350 and subtract 185 bucks. So what is that? Uh, 165? It's a big difference. Now, would you be happy with 165? to do 15 rides. I mean, you got to figure those 15 rides probably took me a total of five hours, right? About three rides an hour, give or take. So five hours, 165. Instacart's trying to give me something. Uh, 11 items, 9.5 miles, no fly zone. Uh, they want me to go, to, and plus it's two orders. They want me to do Target, 12 miles, $9 tip, no. Five items, a lot of you might jump on that, but the problem is where this house is, there's nothing else out there. I'd have to drive 24 miles 
to get to Target, get to that delivery, come back. The five items wouldn't take me very long, but the 24 miles uh, around here's no freeway there. You got to figure three bucks a mile, uh, three bucks a mile. You got to figure three minutes a mile. So this is like an hour and a half. You're going to go shop and drive an hour and a half. But, you know, from the time I leave my house, time I get back, it'll be an hour and a half. For 20 bucks? No, that's not $40 an hour. So anyway, that's how you'd make money with Lyft Uber. I'm curious if you guys have any questions about this. Do you have any disagreements with me? I know every area is different. Maybe you have a better strategy you'd like to share. Uh, you know, collectively, we can all help each other out. Um, you know, the whole point of this channel is to help people, you know, learn how to maximize additional income. And, but this is one way to do it. Um, but again, if you drive for Lyft and drive for Uber, I highly, highly, highly recommend you don't drive unless they have bonuses and incentives that you can use to, in most cases, double your income. I hope that helps, but that's how you can go out and make 30 to $50 driving Uber. Only do short trips. Never do long trips. Only drive when there's bonuses and uh, preferably multiple bonuses where you have a challenge and you stack that with an hourly bonus. So you're earning, you know, in this case, $3 per ride for that challenge and sit four to six dollars per ride bonus for the uh, hour bonus and then maybe some turbo thrown in on top of that as well and then you get your regular pay which is not much plus you get some tips and before you know it you're looking at 30 to 40 dollars an hour but you have to be selective and you can only drive in those specific hours you can't just go out for 10 hours and drive otherwise it's going to pull your average hourly rate down in those hours where you're just doing three regular rides you only get one or two tips and those rides are only five bucks a piece and you only end up with 22 bucks for that hour, right? That will pull your overall average down. It's better to find other things that are paying more per hour in that downtime when Lyft and Uber don't have bonuses. And like I said, that great bonus that Uber offered me, they've never offered anything like that again, you know? And when I got that offer, I hadn't seen anything like that for a year. So I feel like maybe it was like their way of trying to entice me to come back and drive for them. And it worked, but then they're like, oh, well, that's to see if he keeps driving. No, uh-uh, I'm not going to keep driving. You want me to drive? Pay me, motherfucker. I'll drive. <laughs>